Welcome back everyone. So in the last part of the tutorial, I have shown you how to use the displacement map in Maya using V-Ray Renderer. Now in this tutorial, I will not only show you how to use normal map but also how to use more than one normal map on a mesh at the same time. First, select the mesh and then disable render as subdivision surface and then override global settings and then click on none so that the displacement map stops showing and you can see the normal maps properly. Check the render. You will see that the displacement map is not showing. Select the mesh, then open Hypershade and then click on the graph materials on selected object to see the material. Now you can either drag drop the normal material or press tab and type file. Then click on the file node and then select your normal map. Select the normal map and change its color space to row so that it works properly. Now to see the normal map, select the face material and drag drop it to bump map. Then change bump type to normal map in tangent space. Now check the render. You will see that the normal map is working properly. Now import your second normal map. Here I have imported micro normal map. Select the micro normal and change its color space to row so that it works properly. Select face material and drag drop micro normal to bump map. Check the render. You will see that the map is working properly but its styling is too large for human skin. So to fix it, change its styling according to your model. Again check the render. You will see that now the tiling is of accurate size. Now to combine these normal maps. Press tab and add a layered texture node. Select it and drag drop the normal map to the color of its attribute. Then change its blend mode to lighten. Now select the face material and drag drop the layered texture node to bump map. Check the render and you will see that the normal map is showing properly. Now to add second normal map, select the layered texture node. Then click on the blank space here to add a new layer attribute. Select it. Then drag drop the micro normal map to its color. Change its blend mode to over. Then select the first attribute and disable layer is visible to check micro normal. Check the render. You will see that micro normal is showing properly. Now enable. Layer is visible of first layered attribute and check the render. You will see that both maps are visible but they are mixed with each other. Now what to do so that micro normal will not show or less visible in certain areas like lips, nose, eyes and forehead. So to do that, you have to create an alpha mask for the second layered attribute. You have to create a mask like this. Now to create the mask, open your face base color in Photoshop. Create a new layer. 
fill it with white color then again add a new layer. Now select the brush, pick black color and paint the areas where you don't want or show less of your second normal map. Remember, you can change the value of the mask by changing the intensity of the black color. After painting the mask, just export it. Then, drag drop it in Maya and change its color space to RAW. And click on Alpha is Luminance so that the texture works properly. Now select Layered Attribute node and then select its second attribute and drag drop the mask to its alpha. Select the first attribute and disable layer is visible, then check the render. You will see that the mask is working properly. Now enable the layer is visible of first attribute and check the render. Then you will see that both normal maps are showing properly. This is how you can attach more than one normal maps on a mesh at the same time. So if you want to add another normal map, just add a new attribute here and then add your new normal maps and then create your mask for it to work properly. Now finally select your camera and start the rendering.